So right now we have a problem with the cleanup of our folders whenever we click a file right here. That's a problem, of course. And also if I click a root folder with file columns inside it, I also get exceptions and stuff like that, that it can't, it can't pass a column, a file folder, file column, sorry, into a folder um, column. So that's actually a problem as well. Let's try and jump into the code and fix this. What we want to do is kind of, we want to do this, we want to clean out the folders, but we always want to do it. We want to do it no matter if we're adding a file or we're adding a folder. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to add a new one called um, rebuild folders like this. That's just going to be the name of my function. Now, when I'm actually creating this guy, I want to pass in a unique identifier of the new um, file or folder that I'm going to add right here. So I'm just going to add a new identifier right here. There we go, unique ID. And then what I want to do is pretty much the exact same thing that we're doing right here for that folder in here. That's all we want to do. But now we want to use the unique identifier that we're passing from the outside to actually identify the folder that we want to remove for now. Okay, so now we're going to have exactly the same thing. We just move the code from add folder. Notice I'm just adding the, the method right here, this rebuild folders, and then I'm just going to pass in the folders unique identifier right here. There we go. So now we have the exact same build that we had before we just we just moved this function that we had down here from here up here and then we made a new function for that because we need to extend this function. So everything is still working as badly as it did before. This still works, right? That still works as it should and we still have all the errors with the other things. So we just moved the code a bit. What we need to do is kind of we need to clean up this every time we click and we get a new identifier right here, we want to do something specifically. Now what do we actually want to do? Let's try and have a look. When I'm clicking anything over here, I want to jump to the actual folder I'm in right now and then I want to add whatever I click, right? So I want to jump to my parent folder and then add whatever I click. That's kind of the goal right here. So notice when I click this guy, go to the parent folder and add it right here. So it should remove this guy and it didn't. I hope that makes sense. So when I click here, remove everything and just go to this folder. Yeah, let's try and do this. Let's try and figure it out. So step one, what we're going to do is we're going to extend this. So let me just remove this for now and add curly brackets because I want to do more than what I just did which is just made a small check here. Since we got an error, I want to also do an if statement right here that just checks that what I'm getting in here is actually a folder column. I can do that with this simple check right here. I can just say if the column as a folder column has a main, that means that it's not a file column, it's actually a folder column. And that's just a, a, a pretty okay way to make a validation if this is a specific type. So I'm just validating that this um, this actually has, like we look right here in the folder column right here, it should have the main in here to call itself a folder column, right? If I wanted to check for the file, I could check if there was a file in there instead, then I would know it was a file column. So now what we can do is pretty much just go in here and actually cast this guy, just like we're doing down here. We can say const folder column, which is going to be the column we're going to cast into. And then we can say this just like this, column as folder column, right? So now we know that this guy is actually a folder column now and he has a main in there. So we won't get the exception again that he couldn't find the main function, right? Now what's the next step? Well, the next step is we need to run over and figure out um, if we actually have, if this unique ID is available inside the current column. So notice this loop right here runs over all the columns. So if this guy, the unique ID is inside the subfolders of this column, that means that we found the column that we want to go back to. Let's try it out. So we're going to say folder column dot main dot subfolders. Then we have all the subfolders, right? And again, just to be safe, we're going to make an if statement here just to make sure that there are actually subfolders available. If there are subfolders available, then we want to try and find a specific folder in that subfolder. So we'll use the find function right here. So I can pretty much just say I'm going to get a list of folders back here. And for each folder, I want to make a test. I want to say if the folder's unique identifier equals the unique identifier I found up here, right? So if this is the case, then I know I found my folder. And then I can kind of just set this locally right here and say folder found, right? So if we have a folder here, meaning that if there's a folder, I just want to return to true. So if I found the folder I want to, I'm looking for right here, I'll just return true right here. Pretty much just a way for me to kind of say, um, if I actually have the folder now, if the folder is found, then I want to return true, right? So that's all I had to do. Now I know that if I run through the columns right now and I found in the subfolders this unique identifier, I know I found the folder that I'm going to add's parent. And then I can return to that index right here. So let's just try and run this and see what happens. This should be the first step. So I'm adding this guy. Notice, boop, the parent folder went away. 
That's wrong. That's not what I wanted, right? Let's just jump back to albums and let's actually go back here. The problem is, of course, that what I'm getting back now is actually the parent folder. But I want to remove not the parent folder, but the parent folder plus one in index. So now I'm saying I don't want to remove the actual parent folder. I just want to go to the parent folder and everything after that should be removed. So I need the plus one in there. Let's try this again. Now it works, right? And we are back to the solution we had before. But now we're actually just cleaning up and going back to the parent folder of this guy and cleaning up everything from that point. The cool thing is we can now do the same, the exact same thing right here for our files. So I'll just add a files, just like we did with the parent folder. And I'll run through each file right here in the folder column. And then let's just for sake of it say file found like this, file found. And now we have a file available right here instead of a folder. So I'm just renaming these guys. I could just keep the naming. But if I actually find a file now inside the files list, that means that I found the parent file folder again. And I can just again go back to that level. That should be all we had to do. Now I am missing one thing. Let me just try and show you here. If I click this right now, it works. But if I click the file twice, it still pops up. Why? Well, I still am not calling the rebuild folders inside my files. So let's just scroll down here. Before I actually, when I click a file, before I actually make this column, I should actually rebuild the folders down here as well. So let's just do it. Rebuild folders with the file DB right here, the unique identifier of that guy. It'll just go in and clean again, find the parent folder, make sure we add that level, and then it'll add the file, right? Let's try and see if this helped. Jumping in here, jumping in here, clicking, boop, back to the actual root. Clicking, 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 boop clicking, boop, it seems to be working. Sweet. So what just happened? Well, it just means that every time I click something now, I take the unique identifier of this guy, I say search through the parent folder, which in this case is this guy, and actually go and remove everything except this guy, and then add the last one, right? I hope that makes sense. It's kind of complex code. You can go and read it a bit more, but right now I'm going to keep it as it is. And later on, I want to unit test this. There are a few things we can use this for, unit testing and also actually adding a service down in our file system or something like that, because this shouldn't be here. I think there's something I want to reuse for all my different systems that's going to use the actual file system. So later on, we might move this, but for now, let's just keep moving forward and just keep the rebuild folders here for now and just use it inside the add folders and use it inside the add file. And everything is honky-dory and we can just keep on working with our great program. See you next time. Have fun.